Hello there, I'm Chef Eric Crowley, owner of the Culinary Classroom in Los Angeles, and today we are going to make cream puffs. Let's get started. We are going to need half a cup of milk, half a cup of water, three ounces of unsalted butter, room temperature, sliced is also really good. We're also gonna need one cup of flour, that's all purpose flour, one teaspoon of sugar, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Finally, for the last part of the assembly of the dough, we're going to need four, anywhere between four to five eggs. So to start off with the cream puffs, the first thing that we have to make is a very classic dough that the French call pâté choux. We're gonna start off with our water and our milk, get them into a pot, we're gonna bring them up to a boil with our butter. Now our liquid is at a boil, and we're gonna to start to add in our dry ingredients, our flour mixture. Really important that you stir the liquid together very briefly. Make sure that the butter and the milk and the water are blended together. Then we're gonna take our flour mixture and dump it all in at once into the pot. I usually keep the flame on a medium to medium high. Start to stir the dough together. It's gonna to lump up initially. And as you continue to stir it, you'll actually see the flour start to absorb all the liquid and start to form a really nice paste. And what we're looking for as far as doneness, this doesn't need to cook for very long. After a few moments, it's gonna wind up rolling around uh, in a ball inside the pot. And when we have that particular consistency, we're ready to take the pot off the heat. Okay. So once the dough starts to absorb all that liquid, you don't see any bits of flour left over in the dough. You can see when I stir it around, it basically starts to form a ball that starts to spin around inside the pot. And the reason why I'm continuing to stir it is because the dough, as you can see from the steam, is very, very hot. And if we start to add the eggs in now, the eggs are gonna cook. And we don't want them to cook just yet. We're gonna cook them when we pop them into the oven. So stirring it around will actually help cool off the dough. The dough doesn't need to be really ice cold, but you definitely want to have it a lukewarm feel. I typically just use the back of a clean hand and touch the dough. If the dough feels hot against the back of my fingers, I need to cool it off a little bit longer. Dough is definitely cool enough to go. We're going to wind up taking one egg at a time. And the easiest way to determine that when you wind up having them in the shell is just to pour until an egg yolk goes in. You could even add in two at a time. That's fine. No more than two. If you wind up adding in more than two eggs at a time, you'll find that the dough can't absorb the egg rapidly enough. Stir it all around. The dough is gonna to start to get kind of a curdled look to it. And that's absolutely fine. Keep on stirring it. The dough will wind up absorbing the egg and we're gonna to start to get a really pasty quality. The more eggs that we add in, the shinier the dough is going to be. So this is our pate choux. Really nice, lovely paste quality to it. Still has a warmth to it, which is really ideal when it comes time to actually making the dough and putting it out into our cream puff shape. As this dough starts to cool off, it's going to start to get really stiff and it starts to become a little bit more difficult to work with. So now that our dough is prepared, we need to actually get the dough into a uh, pastry bag, and, which makes it the easiest way to actually get our cream puff shape out. I'm going to squeeze with this hand and I'm going to guide with this hand. Here I have a piece of uh, parchment paper on a baking sheet. I'm going to take the dough and hold the bag about a half an inch away from the pan and start to give it a nice squeeze until I have about a one and a half to two inch wide circle. Stop squeezing, give the bag a little flick, and then move on over. One of the things you'll also see as I'm lifting up the bag is I'm going to have a little top of the dough that sticks up. Get your fingertip wet. And just go ahead and press down on the dough like that. Then these guys go into the 450 oven for about 10 minutes. And then we lower the heat to 375 and bake it for about 15 minutes more. They should have a really nice golden brown color to them. You can see that they wind up rising beautifully. There's also gonna be a large hole on the inside. To fill our cream puff, we're going to make some creme chantilly, which you can see on another video. We have our shell for our cream puff that we've baked and we've cooled off. I've made a little hole in the bottom with just a little paring knife. Just Etch a little hole like that. Our creme chantilly is in a piping bag with a little tip on it. We take the tip and put it into the bottom of the cream puff and proceed to fill it. And the reason why we wind up putting it on the bottom is because once it fills up, 
we have an early excess, we can go ahead and wipe that off and then that's gonna wind up going onto the plate and nobody will see. Very common garnish for this is a little bit of powdered sugar, which we wind up sifting in a little basket strainer like this. Tap a little bit on the top. And that is our finished cream puff. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click on other links so you can get other recipes. If you don't see something that interests you, email a request to requests at mahalo.com. Also be sure to subscribe so you can get lots of wonderful additional information. Thanks and I'll see you soon.